Hey guys, it's Parker Dillman, the Longhorn Engineer, and uh, I was looking through a bunch of my old uh, electronics, and I found this portal that I was working on about a year and a half ago. I never fully finished it, but uh, now I'm going to finish it. So it's based off an NES 2. I don't know how, let me adjust the light a bit. There, that's a lot better. So you can see it there. It has a PS1 5-inch screen. And for simplicity, it just uses a regular NES controller for the controller. Um, there was only a couple wires that were broken, and so it took all of five minutes to get it working again. It runs off a of 7.4 volt, so if we turn the power supply, you can see it's working. This sounds a little weak, it needs to be amplified a little bit, because if you look behind, the rest of the NES2 board is just gone. I chopped it all off while I was modding it. It all works. Tag of Super Bowl is probably my favorite game for the NES. But yeah. Um, here's the video mod that I did. It's a it's different from every other video mod that people posted for the NES2. The NES2 is actually usually only RF uh, video out. But there's a lot of composite mods. And well most of them are crap. And they, you get like vertical lines on the screen. You can tell there are no vertical lines on that screen. But in the uh, description, there's a schematic. It's actually compared to other uh, composite mods. It's actually very simple. I think it's got like four or five parts, and one part actually comes from the board itself. And uh, well, that's about it, guys.